You captured a video of Jupiter through your telescope and you want to turn it into a beautiful image in less than 10 minutes. For this, we will need three programs named PIP, AutoStackert and Registack 6. And yes, all of them are completely free. I left links to these apps in the description and we are going to start with PIP. PIP? Yes, PIP. This program has a simple interface so it's pretty impossible to get lost in its features. For a start, you need to add the recorded video with the planet to the program and it will appear in a separate window. Then you choose the option planetary to place Jupiter in the center of the video. However, there is lots of empty space around the planet. You can click on the tab processing options and change the size of the window, just don't crop the planet itself. If the size satisfies you, go further to Output Options and check if the file format is AVI. This is important. Finally, click Do Processing and then Start Processing. Now you just have to wait until PIP edits all frames, and in my case it's 2177 frames. Next, the program will open a folder with a cropped clip, and don't worry if your file size is several gigabytes. That's pretty normal. Now the planet is located right in the center of the video, so it's time to use the next software called AutoStackert. As you see, AutoStackert has many very interesting features as well, but we will use only a few of them. First of all, click Open and find a processed clip on your PC. Put a tick on the item Planet and normalize Tech 75 to normalize the brightness. Choose RGB Align in order to reduce the atmospheric distortion that affected the image and click Analyze. After successfully analyzing all frames, the program will sort them by quality. You can move this slider and see how the frames change from the best ones on the left and the most disgusting ones on the right. Among them you need to find a decent picture, not an ideal one that doesn't look blurry. Now it's time to indicate the percentage of frames that you want to stack. The amount frequently depends on the atmospheric conditions that were during the shooting. If the quality of the video is high and the scene was pretty good, then you can stack from 33 to 50% of all frames. But if the recorded planet looks blurry, indicate a smaller number. You can actually tell the program to have several options, like 50, 33 and 25%. Next, we need to assist AutoStackert in successfully stacking all frames by clicking Place AP Grid. It'll create many alignment points around the planet and you can change their size here. I recommend sticking to 24. In case the amount of boxes does not satisfy you, you can remove some of them with the right mouse click or add new ones with the left mouse click. Do not forget to set points on moons that are in the frame. If the recorded planet is quite big, like Jupiter, then that's all you need to do. But if the planet is small, like Uranus, then we don't need so many points for such a small object. Press the button Manual Draw, make left mouse click and place the planet right in the center of this box. Finally, you click Stack and simply wait. It takes several minutes to process all frames. After that, you will get your processed image in the folder where the pip file is located. As you see, it's still quite a blurry picture, so the final editing will be made in the last program called Registack 6. By the way, when you visit their website, you need to download this version of Registax, since the other ones are simply updates. After opening, you press the button Select, find your magnificent file and choose it. Then you go to the tab Wavelet to do the final editing of your planet where you will need these settings on the left. I often choose the dyadic wavelet scheme and a default filter, but these settings depend on a planet so you can experiment by using different schemes. To increase the quality of the image, you need to move these sliders below the filters. I never use the first one because it frequently adds unnecessary grain to the image and I often use the second and the last sliders. However, I highly recommend you to try various options and again experiment because there is no right way to process your image. 
After finding the best settings, you can choose RGB balance and press the button auto balance so the color of the planet will look a little bit better. Now press save the image and your picture is ready. Of course, you can also use Paint or Photoshop and try to process the image even more, but it's not necessary. Using just three programs, we have managed to turn a dim, blurry planet into this stunning masterpiece. Do not forget to subscribe to our channel, and as always, thanks for watching very interesting videos, bye.